Hey guys, my name is Seniac, and welcome back to another episode of The Tenants, where, boys, last episode, I finally created multiple occupancy homes. It wasn't the great, it was the first thing I learned all about it, where we managed to get one of our properties and basically rent individual rooms out. Which has worked out so well, in fact, that we're now making 5200 in our monthly cash flow to get to our next task complete. Which has kind of then sparked a bunch of questions that I then want to answer to myself, like I even did to this property over here. Um, is it possible to get more beds and rooms in the properties that I have? Oh, I don't know. I'm becoming a really, really, really dodgy slum landlord right now. I don't know if I like it or not. I don't know whether money and greed are now taking over. I do not know. So today we're going to try and make some more money in the hopes that we could potentially buy another property, rent out a few more rooms, and try and complete that goal. And, um, yeah, a bunch of you guys are going to be leaving me tips in the comment section. I've been reading all of them. Appreciate it, guys. I'm hoping it's going to make me a better landlord. But at the same time, I feel like I'm a crook, a crooked landlord in many ways. Guys, if you do enjoy this series and want to see more, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already so you're notified that next episode does come out. But we first have some bills to pay. So we pay all the bills. All the bills right now. We got this little sign here. Um... Uh, he wants me to kind of, you know, let it go. But no, go get a loan. I'm thrilled to have such an incredible... Oh, wait, I guess I'm on I'm, I'm my own then. You pretty much are. Because somebody told me in the comment section, let my leases run out. Uh, let them run out. Let them move out. Because it then gives me the opportunity to go back into the property, renovate it, give it the highest quality, highest standard of stuff that potential people would love. And to always make sure I go the extra mile by making sure that I get the tenants that like the property the most. Because that goes a long way in terms of future relations. It really does. It really does. So I think that person now had to work. That's kind of what that means. So what we're pretty much going to do is we're going to wait for some of the tenancies to run out. You see how much money we kind of get in. And I'm hoping, I have a feeling I might be able to turn this into a multiple occupancy room as well. I know, it's a bit of a stretch, but we might be able to do it. Worst things have happened, guys. Worst things have happened. So, let's uh, let me sort out the phone then. So, delete the message. Oh, I'll get my uncle right away. Apparently there's something going down. He's got rats. Rats, which mean we need to set the traps, is what we need to do. It's game over for you, rats. It's game over for you right now. Your boy's uncle's just walked in. And my uncle, the, the uncle takes no prisoners. Get out of here. Right, that was done. Problem solved. Right, I only wanted to um, kind of check the phone to sort out all the issues. Uh, sent your money. Sweet. I'm liking, I'm liking Corey. Um and all that because they just seem to send us the money and you know not have any issues right get rid of all them my rating recently i'm on level 19 currently uh my reviews solid five stars mate i'm the world's best the world's best so we need to get some money coming in there's no big boy jobs but i'm gonna take this one right now 2250 uh, we'll go renovate this apartment is there any babysitting jobs any time up no okay so i was hoping i could do a babysitting job while we wait but it looks like this one could be a pretty easy one as well so first things first then they want me to build oh they only want me to build a bathroom which is really handy so we can start over here walls will go midnight yeah i like it uh finish the floors should we go do you reckon that style Ooh. <laughs> it's interesting boys so we'll start with a shower then which we'll put over in this corner there we go. They also want a toilet, which ooh, I think we'll, we'll place the toilet just here. How much have I got? I've got quite a bit of money to spend. So I'm going all expense spared right now. All expense spared. Is that, is that the right term? No expense spared? I think it's no expense spared, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. So this matches the theme. Just need some toilet paper. We'll go for this little one here on a little corner. There we go. Nice. And that's pretty much done. So there was some preferred furniture, like a wall clock or a, uh, a wall plant. So a wall clock. Can I see it? Yes, I can. We'll put that in the bathroom as well because they need to know what time it is when it comes to doing the poopskies. And obviously a wall plant. 
So I get that just at the side here. Why not? So both preferred furnitures then, got everything done, the whole job, the whole shebang, we should get a beautiful little bonus, as well as a nice five star rating and a full payment. So, while we wait for that, we got some bills to pay. Anybody in debt with us right now? Nobody's in debt with us right now, which is all good. So we'll jump in to our next big job. So let's find then a tenant for this one, because while I'm, ooh, ho, 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 ho. They want a tenant for the Mafia house right now? <laughs> I think that's... Hey, hey, could you find me a new drug lord, please? Uh, that could uh, rent out this apartment. Appreciate it. Thank you. So I wait for some peeps to get him. We got a beautiful five... Yeah, we got a five star, but we didn't get any decor. Ah, there was no issues. But preferred furniture? Come on. Come on. That was good. But still, a $450 uh, dollar bonus. I'll take it. So here, then, I want someone between 36 and 52 and have at least two years uh, previous tenancy and no criminal history and no Takeshia. So this person here, loving it right now. He's 37. We'll do a tenancy check and a background check. He could be the ideal person for us. He really could. So tenancy check, uh, background check, no criminal history. Nice. Tenancy. He has only one. Hmm. It might not be got too good to us. Um, we'll do a bam, bam, bam again. So on this next person, so again, no criminal history. Good. No debt to. And only one year's tenancy history. Now, they want at least two years. And this person is still within it. So hopefully this person will be the one. So tenancy history, two years. Criminal history, no criminal history. We negotiate because he thinks it's exceptional. So, right. I'm going to bring you up to here. And they come back here at 12,000, which I think is a lot. Considering the fixed cost of 2,600. Accept the offer. We have got a brand new tenant for these guys. They're going to love. So, bills to pay. Get them out of here while we get our monies coming in. So, next job then. When this is finished, we can have well over into the 40,000 mark, which is not actually going to be far off buying a new property when you think about it. Like, yeah, that's expensive. Yeah, that's expensive. But I'm waiting for the little trailer homes to become available. Is there any other properties available right now? Where's, where's the trailer park home section? It is... Oh, it's right here. This is what I'm waiting for to come available, that one. Because that's going to be a nice handy bit of cash money moolah. So, let's take a look then. That's now done. Did I get a five star on that job? Yes, I did. Nice little bonus payment. Nearly 42000 in the bank. Good stuff. Very good stuff. So, back to the job sitch. So, the one that's going to pay us the most amount of money is going to be this one. Um, but this is a two-star in, in, intermediate job. Is that the way, right word to pull it? 2,000. I'll go for this one because this one might be a little bit more challenging. Ooh. Right, we'll send the uncle in straight away. There seems to be a roach infestment. Right. Oh, did that not, did that not do the job? Oh, it's taking many, many, many sprays right now. And then here we go. Get him, boy! He got him. See, the uncle is a wizard. He's a freaking wizard at this point. Right, okay, so let's get this job on the go. And is this a, a, a bathroom job again? Another bathroom job? Ooh, okay. So I'm going to go for these walls. They look pretty nice. Laminate flooring. We'll go for the white tiles as a kind of, you know... Make it look kind of semi okay. Bathtub or shower? Now we haven't. We've only got really these bathtubs. I think we'll go for a bathtub. It's not often we get to do a bathtub. I'll centralize that. It looks pretty nice. The sink. Ooh, actually, this might be an issue. Right. If I put the sink there. If I move the bath. I was going to put it nice and like central to the room. But I think we'll just kind of throw it in there. 
just so I could squeeze in the toilet and then the toilet brush the toilet roll toilet paper should I say and that's done but again let's go the extra distance uh, a wall clock we'll go for the fancier one because they complained last time about it, the other one being too basic and this these wall plants done easy deliver that job so that's pretty much all done i'm still waiting for the oh no yeah sorry i can't confuse them this is now the tenant negotiations where's this at oh okay it's here we are not going to renew the lease we'll let it run out And I have a feeling I might be able to convert this into a multiple occupancy. If not, it is what it is. We'll then look at um, going back to normal. But I have a feeling I might be able to do it. I might be able to do it. We'll wait for him to leave. I ain't negotiating that lease. So get rid of these messages real quick. Goodbye. Uh, jobs. Oh! The elite contract, I've accepted it. I ain't waiting any freaking longer. It's like nearly 12,000. Okay, the banks collected their, their debts. Nearly 12,000 profits we're going to make. And is this another drug den? I think it could take... Yes, it's going to be. Right, your boy's uncle's going to take a while to get this done. We have... Uh, I'm not sure how long we've got left to do this one. But he's going to take a while now to kind of clean this all up. And there's a few items that we might be able to kind of salvage. And I know that you guys want me to start using some of the stuff in my inventory. So I'll try my best. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use some of it based on the fact that I'm trying to go down the multiple occupancy route. But we'll get all the cleaning done. See if he can repair this. Let's go, boy. Will he, won't he? Yes, he will. Uh, repair. Ooh. Now, as always, I'm going to salvage it. And if I need to use it, I can throw it in. All right, clean that. So, last time I built something like this, it didn't go down too well. I mean, it went down really well, but I built it a complete shambles. So if it's the same kind of system or the same thing they want me to build this time round, we can build it a whole lot better. Right, salvaging it all. Then if I need to kind of use any of that stuff, I'll get it out of my inventory rather than buy it. Because not everything that I'm salvaging might be wanted for this build. So then I might be able to kind of hold on to some stuff. See where I'm going with this? <laughs> but the fact that the budget's 75000 on this, holy moly. It's going to be a big one. It's going to be a big one right now. Right, come on. Just think about the bonus I could get if I get this all right. Just think about the bonus your boy could get in return. Nearly 12000 on the base job. Think about the bonus. Right, last item right here to repair. Let's hope he can do it. I get a bonus payment if I can do it in nine days. Right, dispose of. Right, exit. Get out of here, uncle. It's time to skedaddle, boy. It's time to skedaddle. So we've got to break this down then into individual kind of rooms and jobs then to be able to get this all up and running. So if I jump into beginning to renovate it, and if I minimize all the rooms, here we go. There's a lot of rooms, but it basically breaks down to the the living area, which is the, the, the apartment, and then the manufacturing section. So the living area, we need a bedroom, a kitchen, a bathroom, and a living room. That's kind of just what we need in general. So if I go to build them, and if I use the very far end right now as being the living quarters. So if we do like a bathroom, kitchen, um, like this, and I do a... Bedroom there. 
living area here. I don't know why I've chose to get rid of that boy. Demolish that. So bedroom, living room, kitchen, bathroom, and then we incorporate the balcony, another kind of balcony area there. And we'll start this for the apartment section. Now, I know some of the rooms might need a little bit larger stuff. So if I drop down, like, yeah, the living room is actually a lot bigger than I need it to be. So if I kind of make the living room to the apartment a whole lot bigger, we throw a lot more stuff into it. Hmm. Right. So we'll try and do the living room first then. So yellow walls, bam. Carpets, we'll go for this one with the yellow ishness ba bam right tv i know we got a tv that we kind of salvaged oh snap i need doors hold on there we go there we go let's get back on the furniture side of things so okay let me try and get the normal stuff down so a table mm, i need a media stand first where's the media stand la -di -da -di -da. living room it's kind of like a, a media stand slash coffee table. Have I gone past it? This here. This is where I can throw on the DVD player. So DVD player just there. We need a normal table, which I could use these, but probably not. So we go for like a nice little table just here. We need a chair, which will go for, would they work? Oh, they actually work as a, as a chair. And then a painting. I'm going for that expensive stuff, okay? No expense spared in this room. Nice little rug there. We need a beautiful little lamp. And then a billiard. That's a roulette table. So we need a, a roulette table. Which we'll throw in just there. We need a billiard table, which we don't have. Which I'll throw in just there. A poker table, which I can throw in just there. And that is the living room then done. Easy. Easy peasy. Uh, bathroom will get set up then, which is just the basic stuff. Oh, we'll go for this. Yeah. I like it. Quite a funky floor, but I like it. So they want a bathtub and a shower so let's go for this bathtub and i'm gonna have to throw it well not throw it throw it but place it there shower cabin just there uh toilet just there the sink just here Washing machine? That's a required item. All right, washing machine just here. Was not expecting that, that came out of the blue. And then a toilet brush. Hold on, I got peeps complaining right now. There we go. Bathroom, done. Right, who's complaining real quick? Right, that's the bank. Wondering if we get upgrade? Sure. Why not? Then just leave me alone at this point. Okay. Right. Ugh, leave it alone. Kitchen. Right. There's nothing too crazy in the kitchen that's now needed. So we'll go for that style. Floor. Nice little stone. And then refrigerator. The kitchen sink. Or oh, do we go for these dark cupboards? Why not? Why not? Kitchen cabinet. Actually, let me do the cooker first. The stove in. Kitchen cabinet, which is this. Is it that dark style or is it? Wait, which style is it? It's this style, isn't it? There we go. Kitchen equipment. We'll drop a toaster in. And we'll bam. The kitchen is done. So now it's just a bedroom. And that's all it's needed then for the apartment side of this build. So walls brown. I'm trying to go for all the new stuff. Stuff that we've never seen before. Oh damn, that's a fancy bedroom right there. So double bed. 
spin it round. That bed actually goes quite well, doesn't it? Uh, TV, we don't have any TVs, but I'll throw a big plasma out of the wall. An easel? Do I have, like, an easel? I do. I do. Which will take it. We got a desk. Which, if I can just squeeze just here. There we go. Desk chair. Uh, laptop. Now it... Ooh. Okay. Oh, what was that? Oh. I got scared then for a second. It was actually the person in that trailer who I didn't want to renew the tendency. I thought it was to do with this job that I panicked. And then a piano. Do we have a piano? We have an elegant piano. A, a grand antique, which I don't think I'm going to get that one in because it's quite big. Alright, if I get that there and then I just move the bed over. Still can't use to lies that. There we go. The bedroom's then done. I want to save this because I can use this as a complete set for like a room somewhere in the future. Bedroom's now done. So now it's just the kind of stuff outside. So we need a common, which is just basically security cameras anywhere. So I need a manufacturing hall. I need a security room. That's pretty much all I need. So to build them, I'm going to do it. Security room there, manufacturing hall here. Oh, and a brewery room as well. I forgot about that. So if I go, let's say here. So doors. Uh, I haven't even got any doors on the actual building itself. So doors like that there, and then just standard doors. So we said to hold down shift and I can multi-place. Yeah, boy. There we go. So we'll do the security room first then. Walls they want yellow. Um, and I'll do this style in here as well. Same as the kind of bedroom floor. It's all good by me. So monitor, mon monitoring screens. Two of them in. Armory. Well, bam there. So a server tower just there. You want a PC in. But I need a desk for this, don't I? Uh, they want two PCs in. Let me let me flip this around. There we go. So one there, one there. They're a bit off-centered. So PC. Uh, do they want chairs to this? I don't think they do. And can I rotate a DVD player to the side? Just there. TV. Throw a big plasma on the wall. And that security room is then done. So how much have I got? I've got 22,000 left. This is probably not going the way we want it to. So a manufacturing hall. Oh, dear God. We'll do the brewery first. Uh, grey. Uh, tiles. We'll go grey as well. So a brew kettle. Oh, my goodness me. This is where the money all disappears. Uh, table. I'm, I'm trying to go cheap right now. A chair. Because I'm now panicking on the money side of things. So three barrels. One, two, three. That room is now done. So the manufacturing hall. What was this time around? We'll go for these ones. Damn. It's the fanciest drug den the world has ever seen. I know I'm still going for the expensive stuff. 12,000 remaining. So we'll get the tables in first. One. Two. We'll get the chairs in next. One. Two. We'll get the illegal substances, which is quite expensive when you think about it. How many of these I got to get in? Four of these I got to get in. Right, 11,000 remaining. Gas bottle. A safe. A lab clothes hanger. And there we go. What's missing? Another gas bottle. Over in the corner. Oh, that's all done as well. So now it's just the security cameras, which 
we've got plenty of plenty of money to get these in. And then that is all done. Big job. Completed in nine days. Got it done in four. Deliver this job. I know there's a lot more we could have thrown in. But I feel like that that should be good enough. It should be good enough. Right, pay all those debts. Your boy Brian right now, remind politely. Give me my money. Alma, remind politely. Give me my money. And the person here moved out. Right, pay all the bills. We should be all cut up. I'll wait for the review. Sorry, I've got no money. Oh my good god. Right, hold on. Hold on. We played a waiting game. Are they finished? Is it good to go? I feel like they might downgrade me because even though I got everything that I needed to get done, there's still probably a few things missing. But we've unlocked new items anyway. Ooh, these are good decorative stuff. This could go really well for us. So pause them. The review was four stars. Fair enough. Because th there was like other stuff like there was nothing on the terraces. And I used terrible tables towards the end trying to save a bit of money. But didn't realize I could have spent that money a little bit better. But I got 15,400. A 2,500 bonus on top. And it's put me at nearly 100 grand in the bank. Hot diggity damn. Wait, that's a good point. How did I get that money so quick? I don't even know. Don't even know. I think it's because I leveled up. You get bonus money for leveling up, don't you? So, thanks for working. Right, delete you, delete you. It was a pleasure living here. Goodbye. Okay, but go goodbye, Corey. Um, I'm so sorry. I got on it right away. Okay. Uh, I've got no money. Sorry. Uh, not good. So it's only you right now, Brian. Demand payment. Pay your goddamn rent. <laughs> but somebody in Boring Lane. Who is it? Talk to you to get tenants to renegotiate. Let's see if we can renegotiate. So I think it's Leah. I don't know actually who it is. So 2,400 for Brian. 2,000 for Leah. Who is it? Leah. And Leah was the... 2012. Let's see if we can negotiate a lease extension. 2,400. Make offer. Alright, we've got to point to play mode before I find out what she wants. 2,100 and... Okay, so if I bring it down slightly... Make offer... 21623 accept current offer. Bam. We just got more money back off her. So she's now paying. Yikes. She's paying an extra $700. <laughs> and we've almost got the same amount of money with not even a tenant in this property over here. Uh, I'm so sorry. I got it right away. Right, sweet. So pause then. Um. Let's see if we can do what I originally wanted to do over here then. So, is it possible to turn this into a multiple occupancy house? Now, when you think about it logically, what I could do is put a wall there and a wall there, put a door in, and... Hmm. Is that pushing it too far? There is stuff that it kind of needs. Like the bathroom, it says it only needs a toilet. See where I'm going with this? So, if I was to kind of rejig this, for example, I don't need a shower for this room to work. Now, if I sell everything, and we'll start from scratch, because this could be the greatest thing your boy has ever done, or the worst thing your boy's ever done. Okay, so. We demolish just uh, even though I'm going to place those walls back in. We demolish just to start again. So, is it also possible to? Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move them separately for now and then I'll kind of rejig it as time goes on. Right, that's what I'm doing because door, 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 bedroom, bedroom, bathroom. 
And then that could be the common room with a seat. If it works. <laughs> That's literally if it works, okay? It's probably not going to work. But we'll see. So if I was to now get furniture in. If it doesn't work, we'll scrap the idea. And we'll just build a better apartment within this trailer. Using the best stuff. So then we can get more money that way. But if I... It's a big ask, guys. It's a very big ask. Um, bed there, which the person what can't get into it. All right, let me change cell. Change the bed. No. <laughs> oh man, I'm pushing boundaries. I don't know whether that's the right thing to do. Because they can get into that one. They can get into that one. That's fine. Two beds. So then for the bathroom, I'm going to click on it here. I just need a toilet in. Right? But is common, can be any room. Is that what common means? Like, if I put a, a chair there. And then put the refrigerator. I mean, might I add a very expensive refrigerator. Because I can't get into any here. Unless I put it in the bathroom. Would you consider the bathroom? No, I can't go in there. Right, I'll put it in here. This is not my... I'm not proud of this. Who am I kidding? I'm very proud of this. <laughs> so, floors then. Um, right, bathroom. There. I'll do carpet. Or wooden floor there and there. Walls. We'll make it the same both sides. We'll kind of go with a... We'll go for like a bright colour. You know, make it seem quite nice. And... Come on, that is pushing boundaries right now. That is the bare minimum that is required for this apartment. Okay? So, yeah. Right, what was that message real quick? I have a little bit of a fight, but painful next week. Or no way, get a loan. Painful next week. I've, I've just extended her uh, rent, so I'm going to be a little bit nice. So, begin open house. Rubes to let. This is evil. This is pure evil right now. So, start the event. Now, I don't know who's going to come in here and go, Oh my goodness me, this is exceptional. I love this place. Please, let me live here. I don't know who's going to come in and say this stuff. I don't know. But, if I can at least get two people to sign an agreement... Extra money for the rent, boys. This is probably the worst place to ever live. So you got to think, right? I was making just over 5000 in monthly cash flow. Now it could potentially go a whole lot higher. So unsatisfied, appalling, appalling. It's going to take a while to find someone who likes this. So this person's like, fine. Should I just negotiate this one person at least? So all the way up, make an offer. Oh, Elmer. I think Elmer's now gone. All right, put it into play. So he comes back with that offer. I bring it down. 890. He comes in with six. I bring it down a bit more. So we get a last couple of dollars off him. We'll accept that offer. But I'm going to struggle to find anybody who finds this better than, than. Fine. Oh, everyone's leaving. Right, he's gone. Um, thinking, fine. Right, I've fast forward. I think I want to go for this dude right now because he still thinks everything is fine. Right, make offer. He's down here though. Yeah. Unsatisfied. He's fine. He'll go a little bit higher than the other dude. 
but it's still pretty low. Now, is that because the other room is... It's the one that's got the chair in, not the refrigerator? I'll accept this, because I'm going to struggle to get any, any more money out of them. But in reality... Uh, Beach Road right now. Good, good, good funds, good funds. So I've lost some tenants in some of the other houses. Let me see if I can get them in. So vacancy over here. Begin open house. Um, start the event. Fast forward. So pay some bills there while we wait. Holy smokes, there's quite a few people walking in. Oh no, I think it's because um, the person who lives here has got guests. Unsatisfied. She's like, fine. Oh dear god. Right, yes, I know there's issues. Unsatisfied. That is throwing up. Right, good. Negotiate with her. Make offer. She comes in there. I drop down a bit. So 22252. Two, two, uh, I'll accept that. We're all sorted here, boys. We're all sorted. Right. No person. Uh, I guess I see. Uh, um, cut them some slack. Oh my goodness, it's all going off. Oh, wait, he was rude! Super rude! Get him out of here! Alright, goodbye, goodbye. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay, it's all going off in, in that room right now. Holy moly. So, pay the bills. And what other, was the other place right now? It was Ferry Street that needed the extra tenant. So, Ferry Street. Uh, begin open house. Bam, 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 bam. So we're at three thousand five hundred. So if I can get, if I can get, um, at least two thousand for this rent, then by having an extra room in the um, in the trailer, we've gained an extra five hundred dollars a month, which is not a lot, but every penny helps at this point, boys. Every penny helps. So good, good, fine. Right, this person is a mobster. We'll negotiate. <laughs> Try and get 60 days. Oh, that's something else as well. I haven't been getting or trying to get 60 days in a lot of them, have I? All right, we're down a bit more. Come on. A few extra pennies. Down a bit more. A few extra pennies. Come on, Sediac. Well, I'll accept it. So now that's done. 6,200. So by splitting that, renegotiating the tenancies, I've gained an extra 1,200 on my monthly cash flow. Success, right? That's got to be success right there. Has to be. So, with that said, getting 6200 now a month. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 97000 now in the bank. Again, I don't think there's any properties I can afford yet. No, that's too expensive. But some of the properties that were available previously, like this one, 114000 we're not far off it. It has four rooms. So we could do a lot with that building. We definitely could do a lot with that building. We're just going to see how it goes. So keeping on top of stuff, micromanaging, we should be able to get this done. Another job on the go. So I'm looking for the big bucks. So looking for a sort of host, uh, host an open house. Um, oh, a last minute offer an elite contract. Yes. And what have I got to do over here then? Oh, is it the drug den again? They really want me to... I think they want me to become my member. And I think all I want to do is, is clean it up, right? Yeah. So is it just these rooms down here? I think so. So, your boy's uncle. He's now into the dragon's den. Into the lair. Of, uh... Getting things all ship shape. Which, if this is all that literally they want me to do is clean up the apartment, this is so easy for the amount of money they're going to give me back in return. 
clean. Or is there a chance where, like, if I don't repair this, they're going to go mad at me? Not too sure. Will he fix it? Will he, won't he? He's a genius! It looks like stacks of cash on the floor, doesn't it? I don't know if it quite is or not. Uh, and now renovate the apartment. Okay, there was more to it. <laughs> there was a lot more to it than just that. Uh, you there. There's something going on. All right, I'll send in a pro to fix it because your boy's uncle is kind of busy right now. Well, he was busy. Right, begin the renovations. Oh, okay, there's a lot of stuff we kind of need to do. So the brewery side of things, how do I view the rooms? So brewery is this room here. So we need another big boy. Uh, well, actually, let me move this one. Drop another one just there. We need a table. Now, I'm going to... I've learned my lesson. No expense spared. Chair. <laughs> Do I, I'm not going to go for an egg chair. We'll, go for, we'll just drop one of these down. Um, barrel. I'll go for the expensive... Oh, how many of these? I need three of these. Okay, I'm not going to go for the big ones. All right, do a nice little semicircle just there. All three barrels and get the floors and walls done. That is done. So the manufacturing hall then would be... Um, ah, here. I was going to say them for a second. I'm a little bit confused. So move this just out the way over here. Um, okay, so the, the wall's yellow. Floor, we'll go with that. Make it nice and bright. Right up, right up. Uh, tables. Again, how much have I got remaining? Okay, it should be enough. Expensive tables. Chairs. Illegal substances. Spin you round. Got the four down right there. They need two gas bottles. It's kicking off somewhere, isn't it? I'm not sure where. Uh, they need a safe. And that is then all done, right? Yeah. So, deliver the job. Let them do that. Another elite contract complete. Pay all the bills. Pay all the bills. She's a little bit behind. Remind politely. You're definitely behind, remind politely. A thousand big ones. Damn, boy. The damn. Should we get on it straight away? So what you got to think of is 4,000 plus 4,000, which becomes actually, when you think about it, 8,500, 9,000. So I'm, I'm getting an income of 9,000 every month before I then have to pay my bills, which then balances out differently. So that's where you can see where I get a big jump in money. Right, should we get on it straight away? Get on it straight away. Sweet, sweet, sweet. No worries. So we're now also completing this job. I'm actually going to have enough money to buy a new property. But I won't have much money left over to kind of renovate it all up. New stuff as well. Ooh, I like can get a little barbecue on the go. Nice. No, 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 nice. So, properties. Can't afford you. Oh, I can afford this small little flat for 90,000. See, that could be a good little show. I get it over here. Three rooms. Oh, it's 175,000. So I can only really afford one. But even so, affording that one actually gives me more money back in return. So I'll buy this. It's three rooms, one bedroom, one floor. But we can turn it into something so much more bigger. 90,000. I can't miss up that opportunity. But then looking at it. Oh my god. This is actually quite big. I could get a lot of tenants in here. Like a lot of tenants. Right. Demolish. Okay, I can't demolish anything. Um, is there like a quick and easy way to sell everything? Is there? Not leave. Doors. 
Demolish. There's not a quick way to sell everything, is there? Alt shows the room. I don't think there is. I'm not 100% sure. So I'll delete everything, guys. And literally start from scratch. By selling everything, it is obviously giving me a little bit of money back in return. Guys, if there's a way to kind of sell everything, like a, or like demolish the whole property, please let me know in the comment section, because this will help me out for the future. Right, I'm going to move this fuse box just there for now. Oh my goodness, I mean, there's so much stuff in here. I mean, this would have been a nice property for one person, but I feel like... Do you know another thing as well? I don't know what the limit is for how many people you can get living in one area. But I'm going to get a lot of people living in this area. Oh my goodness, I mean, there's so much stuff. So much stuff! Right, is that enough now to start deleting demolishing? Okay, can't demolish that because there's a, there's a, a radiator right there. So demolish. Goodbye. So, in the grand scheme of things, if I go to build, already three bedrooms there. And then there's three bedrooms there. But, obviously, can't go that far because I need to build a bathroom. So then, what if I did it this way instead? Oh, why did I manage that? There we go. So, a five-bedroom building. That because... I mean... I could, I'll do the bathroom, I bet say I'll do the bathroom window because one of them ain't got a, a window, but then none of these guys have got windows over here. So that will be the window, this will be like the common room, where I'll try and build like a kitchen. So doors on it, there we go, and I'll sort out all the flooring right now, so we can distinguish it between... The living quarters and the bedrooms. So bedrooms. Uh, doors. We'll throw in these nice big doors here. So, you know, you, you, it looks nice. It looks nice. Walls. Put that on the in here. Mm, nah. Mm. Yeah, that's a little bit better. And then... Something bluey for the bedrooms. And then with this one being the bathroom. Uh, I did a tile flooring. So there we go. So this then is going to turn into a five bedroom um, apartment building. If you can squeeze in five people, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure if you can or not. Which is going to be freaking interesting, to say the least. I'm going to do a bathroom in here. Then this room here. I'm going to see if I can put against the wall stuff for a kitchen area. I don't quite know if that is going to work out. I really don't know. And all they're asking for the bathroom is a toilet. So if that's the case, then I can turn this into one square. So I'll have like... And then put a door there. So I have a big like... L section there where I can build a kitchen and whatnot. I'm going to save it for next episode, guys. I'm going to save it for next episode right now because this could be a ridiculous money maker. And if I, if I, if it works out that you can get five people in one apartment building, and if I could get like say, I mean, it's never going to happen, but like you know, two thousand each, <laughs> it's ten thousand of one building. That will make me so much cash. But I don't think that is going to be the issue. So we got a little situation right now. I was sending a pro. But our... our um, Oh, what was that review for that last one? Five stars, good. Our, uh, our, 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 the tides have changed. The tables have tilted. I don't really know what the correct term is. But you get the idea. Things 
I'll look it up for us right now. This is going to be a very interesting property, to say the least. So guys, if you want to see the next episode where I try and turn this into five potential residents, even if the game only allows four, then we'll drop it down to four. It gives us a little bit more space to kind of work with. I'm just trying to milk it for what I can to the point where I've got a lot of money and then I can start making nice properties. Who am I kidding? I'm a terrible landlord. Until next time, guys. I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye.